Hi, it's Aris here from r w Marriott for welcome to this week's update. Just wanted to look ahead to the future a little bit and give some advice to purchasers mainly in terms of what I think may play out in the next three, six, nine months. It's obviously hard to gauge where we're going with this because of the unique nature of the uh, pandemic that we're now in the middle of. So what I would say to buyers is if you have gainful employment, if you're confident that employment is secure and you are wanting to buy a property, I would look at the landscape now and in the immediate future and make a very clear and serious assessment of whether it's a good time to buy. Because I feel where we will head next will be a market that we've just recently experienced, which you may not know of, but I went through it as a salesperson, which is what we call the low stock, low demand market. So yes, there may be people that lose their jobs, there may be people with businesses that are suffering, there may be a less um, uh, inquiry level that the agents will experience in the market, but correlated to that will be owners that are less inclined and encouraged or attracted to putting their home on the market. So what you will in effect find is, you may have more leverage in a negotiation on a property you see with an agent and the owner that's marketing it, but there may be less of them to look at. Because owners who won't be um, in a position where they need to sell will be very unattractive to the market in which they move into. So if you see something now or in the next two or three months and you are in a position to buy, I would suggest that you do mainly because buying is not a short term thing. It's something you try and do for five or seven or 10 years time. This will blow over, this will come out the other side, we will recover and we will move forward from it. It's easier to say that, I know it's a throwaway line, but it will happen and we will see the future move on. That's covering six months, nine months, 12 months, 18 months for us to go through that process. It's not five, seven, 10 years. That's normally how long you should buy property for. So then you should be very careful of that because by May, June, July, there may be far less to look at. So even though you have an advantage in negotiations, you have a distinct disadvantage in choice. So I hope that makes sense. If you wanted to have a chat, please feel free to call us anytime on that number or uh, look us up on the web. Bye for now.